Hi everybody, welcome back to Critical Mass. Well, we have a movie review today with Gerald Butler. Gerard. 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 I call him Gerald every time. <laughs> There's no L. There's no L, but I call him Gerald Butler. Famous for 300 and uh, movies like that. And this one is an end of the world epic that is on Prime right now. Yeah. So we're going to tell you if it's worth even watching it or if it's waiting until the end of the world and then watch it. Alrighty, hey Paul, why don't you give us a little rundown on Greenland? Rundown on Greenland, okay. Came out apparently December of 2020, and uh, you have Gerard Butler's character, he's a, an engineer, makes buildings, and he's having a, a few problems with his, his wife. Uh, had to move out because they're on a little break, and then he moved back in, and they're trying to make it work. And then... Uh, then they get the text message. Then they get the text message that says he was selected to go into a shelter, a bunker, to uh, protect himself and the other people who were selected from comet debris that are going to destroy the world. Right. Yeah. End of days comet stuff. Yeah. Uh, initially, they're following the comet because it's going to be passing close to the Earth, and then, oops, it all starts falling into the atmosphere and on day whatever is going to be the biggest chunk and at that point all life will be extinguished uh, except presumably the people in the bunkers. Yeah. And then hilarity ensues! <laughs> <laughs> so they get the text message uh, that hi him and his, his wife and his son mm -hmm. uh, can go to a specific government appointed uh, checkpoint and they'll be transported to uh, the bunker. And the reason it's called Greenland is because the bunker is, in fact, in Greenland. Right. Right next door. Yeah. Just a quick jaunt across the country. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys think? I, huh? There were some... I mean, okay, so it was a decent movie, but I found some flaws. Like, that I, I thought were kind of flaws. Um, one, if you get separated from your family, why would you choose a place to meet that is so far away from where you are, right? You, you leave a note, sure, which they did, and the note said, gone to my dad's, who doesn't live anywhere near there. It was like a, what, a five-day trip to, to get there. Um, why wouldn't you be, like, uh, at the phone booth across the street, right? Like, mm. that would make a lot more sense to Well, me. the thing is, she presumes that he's going to get on the plane and go to Greenland because she thinks, well, he'll think they were on the plane already. So she can either stay at a phone booth for a million years while he's in the bunker, <laughs> or she can go to her dad's place. I suppose, but dad, dad's place is pretty far away. <laughs> Greenland? <laughs> Greenland? Yeah. yeah. Um, I, you know, I kind of thought this movie's kind of, eh, a lot of it. I like, I found the special effects were like, you know, the iPhone special yeah. effects? Yeah. Like, iMovie, and then, oh, okay, look, things are exploding all around me. See, to me, this this looked like, this reminds me of a typical streaming service movie where we got good actors, possible great story, but that's where we spent our money. <laughs> and the rest we're going to, you know, just kind of fill our stuff. It's, it's going to be a okay movie, but it's not going to be a great movie. Yeah, it was more made for TV yeah. quality rather than Hollywood quality. Yeah, well, obviously. And uh, I think, I mentioned this before, I think the way they they have to try to make money is they're getting product placement sponsorships. Because at one point he's going to the grocery store and he comes around the corner and he has these nice bags of ruffles that are placed in his cart so everybody can see them. And they pass by the Pepsi and the 7-Up. Then they go around the corner and it's the Gatorade shelf. And that's all, that's all Pepsi, right? And so, you know, it, we're not going to be able to make money in the theater, so let's try to get Pepsi to uh, give us some cash, and that's okay. part of our income. I really hate product placements. I mean, <laughs> it's, uh, it really distracts from what now, you're watching. I, Ar Archer, 8 o'clock, Cartoon Network. <laughs> <laughs> Studs are us. <laughs> 
Uh, I, I didn't mind the, the special effects. I thought it was good. I thought the acting was good. Uh, I understand that it's only a streaming movie, so they couldn't. It couldn't be an Avengers epic. I enjoyed it for what it was. It was great. I, I mean, I enjoyed it. It didn't feel like it was. It wasn't the constant gardener. That's true. Know? That's true. <laughs> right. However, I do remember. Like I, I was watching this, and uh, the wife is like running through some cars at night, and all of a sudden, I get a phone call. So I go and I pick up the phone, and I'm in the other room, and I'm talking and everything like that, and I take five minutes. And I come back, and I say, okay, well, I'm going to have to rewind the film. And she's running through some cars again. And I go, <laughs> what just happened? Did she been running for five minutes? Like, it's, it's all, and I, I literally, when I rewound it, I miss nothing. And Dawn. I miss nothing. Dawn hates it when people travel in movies. <laughs> I do. <laughs> and she wasn't even in a car. Like, this is a road trip movie of sorts. Uh, yeah. It's traveling from one place to another place to another place, and the uh, the drama is going to be they get separated, and it's terrifying because not only do they get separated from each other, the spouses, but they get separated from their child, and you're wondering how this is all. You're you're saying, oh, that must be terrifying for them mm -hmm. to go through this, and. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I, I thought it was a good movie. So I, I enjoyed it. Let's let's get into. If you don't want any spoilers, we're going to ruin it now for you. So let's talk about the ending. Did you like the ending? I, th I thought it was a bit predetermined. Every movie ends like this. Right. Well, except the Constant Gardener. <laughs> <laughs> I almost would have preferred had we just heard the countdown. And then, like, and it was going darker and darker and just went to black. That, well, that's where I thought they were going to end. And then, and, and then, Greenland, are you there? <laughs> Greenland, are you there? <laughs> that's where I wanted it to end. But no, they got to do the Fallout 4 and Fallout 76 game, opening the big doors into the sunlight. Oh, oh look at everybody. Yeah, but now, now, they can make a video game. <laughs> Oh yeah, and base it around the whole. Well, they had to give that little thing of hope at the end, where humanity can rebuild. But wouldn't that have been a good miss? Like, yes, it absolutely. much better ending had they just had that. Are you there? Leaving us to anticipate: Did they survive? Did they not survive? Somebody survived. Yeah, I know. I was thinking you know? actually when they opened up the doors and you could see all the wreckage and everything turned to ash. I was thinking to myself, you know, you got some buildings to build. I mean, that's why he got his ticket in the first mm -hmm. place, right? Yeah. They they left it open for a sequel. I guess. However, what is he going to build buildings from? Because everything is ash. There's there's no materials. Stay tuned, folks. Yep. <laughs> that could be answered in Greenland 2. Two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, at least I thought they missed the mark on the ending. I really did. So, out of ten, what would you give this movie for a streaming movie? Seven and a half. Ooh, I'm not that high. It was, I mean, it was decent. It was, it was an okay movie to what to watch as far as new movies go, which we're not getting right now. No, but I've watched like other streaming movies out there, uh, Six Underground and uh, stuff like that, and I much preferred them. This one, I'd say, was about a six to me. I, I was, you know, I was, it was okay, but I wasn't intrigued all the way through or anything like that. So. Well, you were taking phone calls, and I rewound it and missed nothing. I, I give it a seven. Okay. Give it a seven. I, I enjoyed watching the movie. Okay. okay. And I do like the actors in it. There was no problem there. It just, to me, it was almost like been there, done that nowadays. It, it almost seemed like every other disaster yeah. movie. Been it there, did. been there, done that cheaper <laughs> now. Mm -hmm. You know, a cheaper version of been there, done that. Right. So let us know what you guys think. Have you watched Greenland? Did you take a look? Let us know. Did you like it? Did you like the ending? I did not. I, I think my ending is better. <laughs> but that's my unprofessional opinion. And until next time, we'll see you on the channel.